to keep you waiting. We, we, we do try and keep these things um, a balance between, uh, you know, keeping on time and trying to make them as good as we possibly can. Mate, um, are you going to share your screen today or are you going to use mine? Yeah, I will be. I'm okay to take over the screen. Fantastic, mate. Let's hear what you're going to say about oil. As uh, Pingley takes over the screen, he's a uh, young trader. He's off the Platinum program with us, been with us for about uh, two years now, up uh, 70% in the last uh, three months on oil. Uh, he's a specialist oil trader nowadays. Um, our student is on holiday, so trading close to full time while he goes uh, goes through this process. Um, and we thought we'd bring him along to uh, to share a bit of stuff. Pingley, you're going to you got the chart. There you go, mate. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to share my screen. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> You okay? Are you looking at my screen now? We can see your screen just fine, mate. Yep, yep. Okay, this is my first time doing this. Yeah, look, no one minds, mate. Honestly, everyone who's here is just keen to hear what you've got to say, mate. Don't worry too much about the little stuff. Uh, people in the room aren't going to be worried about it at all. Okay, so <laughs> let's go into talking about my favorite liquid. <sighs> so we're so, on uh, WTI at this point, ping me? Yes, we are on XTI. Yeah. Yep. yep. So let's talk about what I'm going to do for next week. So basically, for now, you can see it's a retracement for this, for this uptrend. But I'm still leaning to the uptrend for next week after it's done with this retracement. So I am waiting for more. Wait, how do I get a pen to come out? OK. Uh, mate, for drawing, if you um, if you just go to annotate, if you go to the um, uh, the, the bar at the top, it'll yeah, give these, you these. Include <laughs> annotate, and then you know, yeah, there you go. Uh, you should be able okay. to change the color if you want to. Okay. Okay, so I'm waiting for this slowly to come down back into this area. This this area here is yep. about the forty region. Uh, if we manage to break through, and I will wait for another entry at this area. So if we manage to break through again, I will stop and see where will it go before I will waiting for my next entry. So basically for this point, I will waiting for entry at this 40 area, waiting for some retest at these pivots and this last bottom area. Mm, okay, that's it so, for what I'm going to anticipate for next week. So Ping, right, right now you're, you're bearish on oil, right? I think it's going to go down. Yes. And you're going to leave it now until it comes down to monthly and weekly pivot. And when it comes down to monthly and weekly pivot, you're going to look, if we get a break below that, to trade it short. Yes. So for oil, basically, what I understand so far after my two years of interacting with this. So you may look at this. This is the one hour chart. So you can see clearly is the uptrend from this area. Okay, got hey, it. Wait, 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 wait. My God, where's the pen again? Okay. We can see this uptrend. After yep. that, you can see this is the retracement for this one hour chart. So it doesn't mean it will be go going back to downtrend once you break this area because when you flip to four hour chart, You flip to four hour chart, you can see that it is still an retracement ongoing for this four hour chart. So basically what I can say or what I can anticipate is bounce off of this area. And when you go into the daily chart, you can look after when this is where I anticipate to go for a long, which is the retracement ending for the four hour chart, this part. So what if there's a breakthrough for this 40 area zone, a region, it, you can consider it is a retracement for this, for this daily chart area. So what mm -hmm. you can do is wait for at this area. So I'm not able to predict, but this is what I'm going to do yeah. when this happens. Yeah, so for oil, it doesn't mean it's going down, means it's a downtrend. It may be just retracement for this one hour, four hour of the daily charts. Look, um, while you're doing this, Pingley, you talked last week about trading the uh, the oil back to daily pivot every day. Are you still going to yes. do that while you're waiting for this to unfold? 
uh, for now, I can see it's not actually a ranging where this ranging technique is not suitable because when you look at this one hour chart, you can see it's a clearly spiking out. What, yes, what what did I say? What did I what I mentioned last week is not going to happen. It's not going to follow this one. It might retest of the pivots. And for next, for on Monday, the pivots is daily pivots at this 41.5 area. So it will most likely will do this when we reach this region. Okay. Cheers, Pinkney. Thank you very much. Guys, I've got a lot of questions across all the different platforms at the moment. I've tried to get as many as I can through with Jordan. I thought he was awesome tonight. And look, it's really great to, uh, to, have, to have that kind of stuff. We will get him back on the uh, second uh, second Sunday of next month and, and have another crack and talk some more about him. Pinkney, thank you very much. Time for us to get into um, uh, time for us to get into Ainsley and have another look at gold. We did uh, we did start.